it's interesting how things work out sometimes, because not only are all these bevelers the ones I specifically used in order from when I started, they're also all very different bevelers. So the first ever beveler that I used was this very simple, straightforward, tandy leather beveler. It's a great beveler because it's flat and easy to sharpen, and because it has a straight across cutting angle. That means it takes off a bit more right at the center, which allows you to more easily bevel outside curves, which is great if you're a beginner. The drawback is your cuts are all going to be squared off, so you're going to have to burnish it up to make it round. These other two bevelers have a curved cutting edge already, so they have a nicer finish on those bevels. Most of the time you can just sharpen and polish this beveler with a strop and jeweler's rouge, but if they get really bad, you can always break out the sandpaper and then hit them with the jeweler's rouge. All I had kicking around here was 600 grit sandpaper, which was fine, but usually I'll want at least 800 or higher. I used that specific design of tandy bevelers for quite a while, and then I finally graduated, if you could call it that, to these Craft Tool Pro. I think I got sold on the Pro bevelers. Not a huge fan of how these look. They bevel really nicely, and they sharpen fairly easily. You just need a thick piece of leather for this giant size one. And all you're doing is beveling your edge, using your jeweler's rouge on the edge, and then stropping it back in the same shape as it just beveled. Pretty easy. So obviously I find those craft tool bevelers horrific looking. They bevel just fine. They feel just fine in the hand. I just don't like the rubber and big scrolled across them craft tool pro. It just makes them look cheap to me, even if they aren't. So when I discovered these incredible works of art from Odin, all I had to hope was that they beveled as good as they looked. Now remember, as usual, I will have links to all the tools from this video down below in the description. And as an added bonus, checking out those links helps this channel out. Odin sells a specific sharpener just for these that I assume can be used on all sorts of other bevelers. So if you have a keen beveler, which is for me a beveler with a groove, it's probably because I saw that at Tandy Leather first, it was called a keen beveler. I don't know if that's even actually what it's called. You may want to pick up one of these. Now, I do not sharpen right over whatever the hell that is, nor are you supposed to. Make sure you use varying grits of sandpaper, just like you were sharpening the beveler at the beginning of this video. And on both of these, I'm just using a little bit of sewing machine oil. Use whatever oil you have lying around. I do end up flipping it over at the end and giving it one strop just to make sure there's no burrs. Smooth like butter. Now, here's the little trick I have for you guys, especially if you're using thin straps and trying to get your bevel and they're weaving all over the place, all you need to do is lock a straight edge down onto the side of your table and use that. 